All right, so we're gonna be rebuilding our E36 Vanos unit today. This is our single Vanos unit itself. It's a little dirty, but don't worry about that. We have our seals repair kit. This is the Bison, the seals kit. We have the rattle repair kit here. This goes inside. And then this is the special socket, which is a thin wall 18, which we'll need in a little bit. And I'll show you why. So first things first, we're gonna take this apart. It's 10 millimeter. All right, we can set this whole unit off to the side over here. And we're gonna be basically working with this for the whole rest of the video. This is how it works. And as you can see here, we have a lot of excessive play. And this play is due to this ring here being worn out inside of here. So now what we're gonna do is try to take this out. This is where that socket comes into play. Fits on there perfect. All right, so now that we have our adapter here on here, we're gonna take this over to the vise and unscrew this guy. What I like to do here is I like to wrap the bottom in like a towel, something soft, so that I can get this off without having to like hold this like this. But... All right, so first things first, this comes out. We have the top, we have the first washer. You can already see how much play we really have in here. Got the first bearing. I'm putting everything upside down here so that it goes back on like this. So this little T30 in here is actually reverse thread. So you gotta make sure to tighten, righty, loosen this one out or else the, otherwise you'll snap that thing right off. Once that comes out, that actually holds this washer on. So I'm gonna leave that like that. So this comes off the bottom. This comes out. Now all you're left with is a, is a this guy sits at the bottom. There should be one more. But this, this little ring that I'm twisting here is the guy that we're gonna be replacing. So let's see if it taps out. If not, I can just grab a pick. Look at that, came right out. This is the guy that's no good. So that's pretty much it. Now we just kind of replace it and put it all back together. It's super simple. All right, so here is the new one. Nice and shiny. So this goes back in here first. Make sure it's in there all the way. And it's just the reverse order. That guy goes in there. This guy goes down next. This goes after that. This screw is what holds it into here, but um, it goes through here first. Remember this is left hand thread, so lefty tighty. We're just gonna bottom this out right now. We're not gonna torque it quite yet. So now that that's on there, we're gonna go get the torque wrench and we're gonna torque this down. All right, so this gets torqued to six foot pounds and it's all nice and tight. So then this washer goes back on top and this guy Gets tightened back on there. Now we just tighten this guy back up. I'm gonna thread it in by hand, but this gets torqued to 30 foot pounds. So I'm gonna go put this in the vise and do that right now. All right, so now that this is torqued to 30 foot pounds, I'll show you this has no play in it anymore at all. Up and down, nothing. 
this thing is now nice and tight in there, which I'm super happy about. Next up is to get the seals out, which are right in here. There's two of them on top of each other. Um, this is kind of like how they're oriented actually in, in there is there's two guys right stacked. So the easiest way that I like to get these out is to use a blade and kind of cut it at like a diagonal across the top and it comes right out. I'll see if I can do it on camera. Stuff this right in there. Kind of bring it across. Should should have done it right there. Yep, so I don't know if you can see it, but right there, there's a nice little slit. That comes right out. Oh, it looks like that cut that I had was just not all the way through. All right, so that's both of them in there. It's pretty nice and simple. Let's get the new ones out of the bag. So because my hands are all oily, I'm just gonna rub these around a little bit. Get them all nice and lubricated, nothing too fancy. So the rubber O-ring goes on first, nice and easy. So that's nice and in there. This one can be a little bit tricky, but honestly, if you know what you're doing, it's not so bad. I like to get it right on there on the top. Kind of smush it around, you're gonna end up with something like that. And then this scooper tool, kind of like a, if you've ever mounted tires before, Lift this up and just kind of slide it on. So by doing it with the with this method, you can kind of stretch it just a tiny bit and then it'll slide on nice and straight so you don't have to worry about it beveling or nothing. So now that's actually on there and all set. Just go around it and make sure nothing looks too bad. All looks nice and uniform. And that's it. So I'm just gonna lube it up with the oil that's on my hand. Grab the case. Can use a little bit of oil that's in here if it's not too gross. Luckily, this is all fresh oil. And this goes right back in here. Just smushed right down. So now that it's all set back in there, all you do is tighten the 10 mils that are that we're holding the case right back in. Fun fact, all of these 10 mils that are these M6 by 1.0 bolts, every single one of these that's on the engine is torqued to 89 inch pounds. So it's just a good thing to remember if you see a 10 millimeter bolt on the casing, on the, on the cover, on this, anywhere really, it's 89 inch pounds. So I'm going to tighten these up and then we're done. And that's it. That's how you rebuild it. This has no play anymore at all. Thanks for watching.